All right, with chapter six today, um, we are going to talk about rational expressions, and uh, later to, uh, towards the end, we will talk about the applications of uh, rational expressions. Now, again, let me remind you guys before we get started that factoring will be an essential part of this chapter. So if you haven't had a chance to review, I would say that go back and review on your factoring uh, before you get started with chapter six. It will just help you out uh, and make this chapter that much more easier for you to work with. Okay, now, uh, you guys remember calling fractions as rational numbers. Now, fractions we know are basically of the form A over B, where you have, uh, you know, your number in the numerator and the denominator are both um, integers. So when you're talking about a rational expression, we're talking about a similar thing. The only difference here is with a rational expression um, of the form uh, P over Q, your P and Q are both going to be polynomial. So in a rational number, your numerator and denominator are uh, integers. With a rational expression, your numerator and denominators are polynomials. So um, when you have a rational expression of the form P over Q, again, your denominator, your Q, cannot equal 0 because, again, you cannot divide by 0. And you can see some... Uh, examples here on what uh, you can expect to see of a rational expression. Negative 3x over x plus 9, 2x over y plus 3, 4m squared over 9. These are all examples of uh, different types of rational expressions. Now the first thing that I want to talk about in respect to rational expressions is just let's see what a numerical value of a rational expression would look like. So let's say we have this uh, expression here, 2x squared minus 4x over 3x minus 1. And we are trying to evaluate this expression at x equals 2 and x equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and see what the value would be when x equals 2. Now it's almost similar to, you know, what we have been doing so far, except we're talking here, you know, go ahead and substitute your x with the given value. So you have... 2x squared, substitute your x with a 2, minus 4x over 3x minus 1, okay? And then go ahead and evaluate this and see what answers you come up with. So you have um, 2 squared, which is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, minus 4 times 2 is 8, over 3 twos are 6, 6 minus 1 gives you 0 over 5, and we know that will give you the value um, of 0. And, um, you know, so you can see when x equals 2, the expression, the value of your expression here is going to be 0. Now, let's see what happens when we use negative 3 for x. What will be the value of our rational expression then? Exact same thing, but this time you will substitute your x with negative 3. And when you're working with negative, be careful of the negative sign. So we substitute our negative 3 in, and then let's see what answers we come up with. Negative 3 squared will give you 9. 9 times 2 gives you 18. Negative 4 uh, plus, uh, times negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 3 will give you a positive 12. All right. On your denominator, you have 3 times negative 3, which will be a negative 9 minus 1, and that will give us 18 plus 12 is 30, and negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10, and 30 divided by negative 10, of course, gives us negative 3 as the uh, answer, okay? So all we did here was try and evaluate what the uh, value of our expression would be when x equals 2 or x equals negative 3. Um, with the same values, let's go ahead and look at another example here. Let's say you have negative 2x uh, quantity to the third power over 3x plus 9, okay? And we're evaluating it at the same values of x, 2 and negative 3. So again, we'll go ahead and get started with x equals 2. Now this time you have negative 2 times x and then 
you cube the whole thing okay so be careful 3x so that will be 3 times 2 plus 9 and let's see what will that give us negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 so that will give you negative 4 to the third power and then in the denominator you have 3 times 2 which is 6 and then 6 plus 9 so what is negative 4 to the third power um, that will give you let's see negative 64 and of course uh, 6 plus 9 gives you 15 uh, now if possible you can go ahead and try and reduce this but uh, you will not be able to reduce this any further so we leave it at that point but if you could then you would wanna reduce that now let's see uh, what happens when x equals negative 3 do the same thing substitute all your x's with negative 3 and let's see what answers we come up with so negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6 positive 6 to the third power over 3 times negative 3 will give you a negative 9 plus 9 and 6 to the third power I believe will give us 216 and of course you have a negative 9 and a positive 9 they both cancel out or they add up to give you 0 again guys remember you cannot divide by 0 that tells us we ended up with an undefined answer here okay anytime you end up with an undefined answer that tells us that you know this value is not good so x equals negative 3 for this expression negative 2x uh, quantity to the third over 3x plus 9 you cannot use negative 3 to find the value of this expression because when you do you end up with an undefined um, answer right there